JA has taken another step toward finishing its move into the utility's new headquarters downtown. The authority's board held its first meeting in the new building, and we were able to learn more about future rates. News for Jack's reporter Jim Piggott gives us an inside look at the new building and what's ahead for customers. Outside the new JEA building, this is the first time that the public will be allowed in. Well, I'm going to take you inside and show you what we're going to see. Now, this is only for today's board meeting. You can't come down here and pay bills, but we're going to go on inside. I'm going to take it a little bit easier here so we can get up here. But this is the main entrance. So what you'll find when we come on in, in this lobby is where customers are going to be ending up going. Again, in 13 days, you're going to be able to do this. But I'm just going to show you around a little bit of what you're going to see. So back in here, this is going to be the reception area. This is where people will be coming in. And it's a little bit different than what they have right now because they have this set up to where you'll be meeting individually with the customer service reps and you'll be able to pay your bill here. Or when you come on back in, they now have these kiosks. We've showed this before. This is actually where they're encouraging people to come and pay their bills. So this is the first time in the new building, but. People will be allowed in here, um, like I said, in 13 days. Now, we're going to go back in because it's also the first day of the board meeting that's going to be taking place. At this meeting, there was much more discussion that concerns you and how JEA will function. It started with public comments on various issues. More people than usual, though. Most people talked about JEA using more solar power. Others talked about the recent base rate increase and how the black community is being hit the hardest on this. There's a, a stark difference about, uh, about like where, what community you're in, you know, um, and, and, and how, how your energy bill is. And so we want to just change that. During the meeting, JEA did focus attention on the future, saying solar and nuclear energy will be a bigger part of the power that you pay for at your home. What we are going to propose at the next month's board meeting, we're going to take all the comments that we heard today from the public and from the board, and we're going to come back with more formal uh, recommendations on what our goals will be. We also learned JEA is relieved to find out that the state legislature's plan to tighten control on city-owned utilities is beginning to loosen. It may not be as big of a concern when it comes to how the city can profit off JEA. Much attention is also being paid to one investment that has seen many problems in the past decade, the nuclear power facility, Plant Vogel, being built in Georgia. JEA is responsible for over $3 billion of its cost, and that bill is coming due soon as part of the plant gets ready to come online. In the long run, part of the reason we had the rate change was in order to help fund and pay for uh, Plant Vogel. Uh, and we'll have some future rate increases in, in the next couple of years, again, and in large part to address the cost of Plant Vogel when it provides us clean energy for years to come. As for the new building, it won't be open to the public until April 10th, and that's when you can go inside, pay bills, and do business with JEA. Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station.